Welcome to Backwater Casting. I'm your host, Rick Green. On today's show, we based out of Fredericton, and I'm fishing with my buddy and my tournament partner, Phil Bear. Yeah, that's the way to start the morning off. Yes, sir. That's, that look that's when gotta he jumped, be a good fish. He's when the jump, it looked like a nice one, yeah. Yeah. Oh, frig, yeah, it's a slab. Let me you get want, you the net that You want the boga fella. grip? Oh, I think a net. I'm on mono on this one. <laughs> he not, does not want to come to the boat. Oh, he's a big fish. Yeah. Oh, he's, he, he's still out, here he comes. Yes! Woohoo! Yeah, that's a nice fish. No Second good. cast of the day. Yeah. That fish actually fought <coughs> much bigger than that. I would have bet that was a four pound fish. So that's that's a nice chunky fish right there. So I actually I, I just the water's a little bit dirty this morning. I just thought I'd fan cast. So I got a little number four silver blue fox on. I'm just fan casting her ahead of the boat. And uh, so that was the second cast. I'm throwing a fire tiger topwater. Normally, That's really been one of our best tournament lures too over the years. Yeah, it's caught a lot of fish. Yeah. This guy was way out, Philip. Yes, sir. Full cast well, out. Well, I said the other day they weren't they weren't in yet. They're out on that ten or fifteen. Full cast outside. Yeah, they're ten or fifteen. Oh, gee, nice one again. Yeah, that's what I said the other day. They're outside at 10 or 15 feet, but there is some on shore too, so. Yeah, they'd be in all stages right now. It's a solid fish. Yeah, oh no, that's a nice fish. Come on out from under there, you. Need a net? Boys, I'll get, I can net them. You just get control of them first. Geez, he's bigger than the last one. Oh, I think one tapped me, maybe. Maybe not. Oh, look at that, the bait fell right out. Look at that, just a really beautiful St. John River smallmouth. Would we keep that in a tournament? On the small side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'd keep her in a tournament. <laughs> that looks like a beauty. Well, what happened with that fish is he dove under the boat. And I've, I'm fishing eight pound mono today. I've been going back and forth with braid and mono, but they can, they can cut that off. If you got a nick or something in that gel coat, I can just cut that line just like that and be gone. So I, when he went under the boat, I put the rod down to, to keep the fish down more, and then he'd come back out again. But yeah, the aluminum boat we fish out of sometimes, they'll just cut you, literally cut you right off under there. The glass, if you got a nick, they'll get you. Big one, big perch. Or pickerel or oh, something. Oh, it's not a perch. No, He's small little oh, bass. Oh, it's a bass. He's How jumping. did I get your fish, Rick? I don't know. I let you cast in there, I guess. If I had cast in I've never caught a bass that small before. Well, that's because I usually got him out of your way. Yeah. He, he slapped at it. I got him on a Yamamoto Cinco. Well, that doesn't sound bad there, though, Rick. No, he's a pound, I think. I thought he looked more like... Oh, he is a couple of pounds. Yeah, well, maybe. He's hard to say. He's 14 or 15 inches. I thought he was much smaller than that when he came up. Jesus. He's not bad. Nope. There's lots of days that would be our big fish. <laughs> they, those, those are the rare days. If there's been the odd tournament. I, I can remember one in particular years ago was so bad. We'd have been happy to have seen this fish. Oh, yeah. No marks here. on them at all. Yeah, feels good. Too big for a perch. The bait's too big. Oh, good one. Good yeah. one. Yeah. I'll put that town back down again. Good I'd say it's a one. three pound or so smallmouth. He missed me the last time, or I missed him. It might not even be the same fish. Who knows? Funny, he jumped that one time and he stayed down. Well, he's a decent. He's about the same size as ones I think you were getting. Yeah. I thought he'd have stayed airborne. You always said that was a good colored Senko. Yeah. Oh, oh geez, yeah, that's a, a big that's a fish. Tank. Yeah, that's a nice one. Oh, Rick, that, that is a pig. Yeah, that's a good that's one. That's the kind we want in the tournaments. Look well, at the size of that baby. 
Yeah, that's a good one. Not bad. Look at that, right in the corner of the mouth. That's all good. Yeah, we'll get a picture for the website. That, that's no slouch, is he? No, that's good. And you know, he, if he's any bigger, pass me your needle nose because I hate to pull it out with, and tear what's there. He's just got a teeny bit of his tongue at the back. Yeah. It's oh. funny how now that fish, how barred, here, give him this, how barred up he is, and the ones I had were just plain bronze. He's quite long, isn't he? Yeah, he's a long well, one. But you know, your fish, I think, is as big as that, Rick. Yeah. Rainbow trout, yeah. Think what I got here. Big pickerel? It's another pickerel. Yeah. Gosh. A fox won't even, ca won't even tackle a cat if it's facing it face on. He's a pliers kind of fish. There you go. Small fish, though. He's not big. One thing about them, when they're not in the tournament, you can just haul them in. You don't care if they come off. He drove that Sanko two feet up the line. Oh, yeah, nothing wrong with that. Yeah, small compared to this lake. Normally, normally you don't get a fish this small here. Let's look at the size of that boy. That is a big perch. That's a big hole. That's a long perch. perch. I haven't seen a perch that long, I don't think. I could win the kids' tournament with that. Yeah, that's a long <laughs> perch. Yeah, these were the ones the kids used to just die for in those kids' tournaments. Boy, she was hooked well, though. Curse splash. There you go. Yeah, that is a big yellow perch. If you're handling these guys, very, very, sh these are really, really sharp. If you're handling them, you just got to be careful with them. Is that a sunfish? Very big sunfish. Same family. Yeah. They are the sunfish family. Well, there's one we didn't catch in the way through the first trip. This little fish. This is an avocado tube. I actually got that from uh, Wollaston Custom Tackle, right here in Fredericton. He made me up a batch of them. Oh, oh geez, nice that's a nice one. one. Yeah, that's a nice one. He jumped anyway. You know, I get in them about the same as the other one, Rick, and, I, and he comes towards the boat, and I almost, he, he had a chance of getting unpinned. I don't think he's as big as the other one, but he's no slouch. Yeah. He looked like a big fish in the They all look big in the air, but he looked like a big fish. Yeah, oh yeah, he's not bad. Yeah, he's not too, too bad. I think what it is, is the size fish we've been catching. He isn't a bad fish. No, no, he's good. I don't, we, we'd throw him away in a... We'd keep him in the morning. Yeah, that's right. We'd keep him in the morning. It's a good picture there. I'd say he's big because he hasn't jumped. No, he's small. Is he? Yeah, no shoulders. Got a decent splash, but... You just see you know how the rod just feels with a big fish, and so yeah. far I'm not feeling... Yeah, he's all right. A couple of pounds. He's a couple of pounds. Oh. Yeah, yeah, he's not, he's not as big as the ones we have been catching. He's not bad, but... Okay. What I'm finding, Rick, is they're not big bellied. Are nope. they all males? He's heavier than I thought. He's long enough. He's heavier than I thought he was. He's long enough, Rick. Yeah. Well, why are they not got any big bellies? Welcome back to Backwater Casting. Well, Spill and I are fishing here on the beautiful St. John River. We're going to chat with him a little bit about his shop and the challenges of running a business during the COVID pandemic. There should be a fish right over there by the that stuff here. Right? This feels really good. He made a good splash, Rick. Mm. Now, why would he come so far off? Well, he's got a bend in the rod. Oh no, he's a good, he's a good fish. I didn't get to see him, but the splash when he come up and swirled, just brag off a little bit, or he might break my poor old leader. We'll be able to go way in here shortly. Boys, he looks good. It I looks just, all right. I just I see just a glimpse, glimpse of him out there. 
Oh, oh yeah, that's a look tank. Look at the size of him. He is a tank, isn't he? Oh, look at the size of him, Rick. Oh, that's the biggest one today, I think. Oh, boy, he's a pig. He's been caught in the corner of the mouse before, too. Yeah, that's Either a good that one is right a fan there. Yeah. That's a hog, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, he is a... He, without a doubt, is a dandy. Yeah. Got the hook out anyway, that's didn't he? picture taking fish. Yes, sir. I took that up over him, thinking I'd get that line back of this. Yeah, he's... He's long and nice. Nice, nice, nice. What would that be right there? 20, would that be 20 inches, Rick? I would think. That's a long fish. Yeah, is that a board? Yeah, it'd be interesting to see how long he is. It's longer than this board. I put that right up against yeah. there. Board's 18, well, no, it looks like he's too high up. No, I'm right up against his chin. The board and there's at least two inches there. Yeah. So he's about 20 to 20 and a half inches. Yeah. That fish there, he didn't have the shoulders on him because he, he was thinner than I thought he would have been. But I'm going to say that he would be 314. Because he had, he had length, but he didn't have the shoulders and stuff. You fat, Rick? You on that? Ah. Yeah, he better. He's not bad. Oh, <laughs> dirty dog, eh? Yeah. yeah, he's not bad, is he? Yeah. No, I have to get a picture of that one for yeah, the that's website. A, that's a pretty good one. You sure ran for the boat when you hooked him. Did he ever? They seem to be deeper and fatter here for some reason. Yeah, these fish are deeper bellied. That's a nice one, Rick. What would that be, three and a half? Fairly long, Probably too. three pounds. Well, I got that one on, a, on that avocado tube that I was talking about. It's got a one eight ounce head in it. And uh, yeah, solid fish. When, oh, that was, that was a perch, I would say. Just, even the perch like it. So it was a nice fish. Anyway, it was one of the better ones for the day. I threw right back in the same spot. That's the one you saw, it was a perch pulling on it. Well, no, the perch was pulling on before for sure, but all of a sudden a bass started. You want a net on it. him or you got him? Oh, I don't need a net. He just, he'd just be a small. He's a deuce. I take what comes. Boy, it's hard to believe that I'm in there. Well, Phil, why don't you take a second and uh, tell us a little bit about the shop and the products that you sell at Phil. Anyway, we've been there for 35 years and we sell and service Mercury outboards, Mercruiser inboards, Evinrood outboards. Texture on side by sides and wheelers, um, low boats, polar craft boats, low po pontoons, Bennington pontoons. Yeah, wow. Look at that, eh? Just it's a it's a strange day today. I mean, we've caught and they're almost and they're almost rare, Rick. The sunfish. Yeah, I spent many an hour when I was a kid catching sunfish, boys. Yeah, but you know, in the St. John River, when I was a kid. Sunfish were way bigger than that. I used to get some real honkers. Yeah, there he is. Very rare to have them hit a bait that big. I mean, they have a very tiny mouth. He was swimming that way, and I said, geez, fish there. I swung on him, but what he did, he turned around and went the other direction. You got him. Yeah, he's not a bad fish. No, he's a chunk. We wouldn't keep him in a tournament or anything, but Good look morning. at that. Look at the piece of fish he's got in him. Look at that. Oh, look at all the stuff he got. He's, he probably got him in that, yeah. Yeah, so he must have ate a perch. I felt him going to the right, so I sat on him. I said, geez, I missed him, so I started reeling the line in, and he'd swung directions and went back the other way. Yeah. Oh, they're fast. Yeah. They are fast. With the variety of product that you sell, how has COVID affected the business? Well, COVID's had the same impact on everybody's business. For some reason, everybody was buying everything they could while they're sitting home, swimming pools, wheelers, side-by-sides, snowmobiles, boats, motors. But now the supply is getting dwindled, so the first year you couldn't keep up with all the sales because everybody was buying everything, but now you can't get enough product to supply the sales. There's going to come a point where everybody's got something and then the sales should go the other way because 
who's going to need one. Geez, that's a big one too. No. Holy. He's just active. Still a nice fish. Yeah. yeah. Chunk. Not bad. Yeah. Yes, sir. You got a good one. I got a big perch. Net. Yeah. He's big enough for sure, but I just don't whether hoist him over and break my leader or just put no, him in the net. I don't, no point breaking anything. One thing about a net, you don't break them putting them over. Look at that, he got that right out of the net. He's here for plastic nets. Yeah. He looked bigger than he was actually. He did, he looked bigger when he came up. Yeah, looked bigger even when he was in the net. Yeah, the, the good thing about that swim bait, as opposed to the tube I'm throwing, is that you're, you're getting your full cast, you're coming through the weeds clean, and I'm getting part way back and I can feel the hook catching up, so I'm coming back with grass. So the latter part of my retrieve is pretty much wasted, because usually they won't hit it if you're dragging junk on the hook. We have an average size smallmouth bass. Always a little more than average. You need a net, Rick? Oh, there's two of them. Yeah, there was another one under, there's still another one with them. You see, see him down there? He's still there. Nice one. Nice little chunk. We almost had his buddy. There was two of them. I have got, as Rick would say in his show, a two pound. That's a nice one right there. Boys, he's a nice fat one, isn't That's he? That's a good one, yeah. Oops. He's still slimy on him, too. He looks nice and fat. Yeah. He's got some winter slime on him. He had a, he's got a fish inside him in a way, but it come out real good. You know what he's got inside him, Rick? Oh. That's his insides. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah, somebody's tore the guts out of it. Yeah, I, th I think, Phil, that's just an example of somebody that's not taking the time to learn how to get a deep hooked fish to clear that hook without killing it. And, you know, I saw you, you popped it out from under the gill, the hook come right out. But obviously, whoever caught that fish before just kind of ripped it out. It's a, it's a shame. But I'm surprised he was even living after after that. This is a swim bait, and I throw it out and let it go down a bit, and then just swim it back slow, let it drop, swim it back slow, let it drop. And so, do you, have you got any weight in that, or you feel just fishing it weightless? None at all. No weight. Six aught gammy in it, or six aught fusion in it with no weight. Wonder if that's the one that missed them before, because we're just on top of that weed line. Could be. It yeah. could be. Straight Look at it. Off oh, of that nice of fish too. Yeah, he's good. He's a good one. Look at the size, a little length of him. He's got a bad eye Looks on him. Looks like he was blind in one yeah, eye. Yeah, I was just going to say, he's got a bad eye on him. Quite long, Rick. Yeah. Geez, I wonder if he's got two bad eyes or not. Well, he was feeding, so. No, nope, just good. one. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's long and skinny, but not heavy. But he's all right. That bait's not a bad bait. No, this is a good one. Every once in a while, you get something that works. And I always like chartreuse this time of year anyway. Yeah, but I like those swim baits right there, Rick. I've tried different swim baits over the years. Yeah. Those ones right there work. Yeah, it's pretty good. Bring them up this way. Like, I usually don't keep them this small myself, but... I don't know what to think. Like, he's... He's... He's fat. Would that go a pound and a half? At the very least... It yeah, he's not, he's long enough. 
Now I got that one on a five inch Yamamoto Senko. I'd say that's probably the fish because it wasn't big. And it was, and it must have been a belly I seen on it. I caught him. He was looking her over. He just smacked at her or something. Oof. Well, I'm presuming I got a bass. He just finally found, oh yeah, he just finally found out that he was coming to the boat. That? No, I can get him with a, he's a nice fish, but. Come here, buddy. Yeah, that's probably the smallest fish I caught today. No, I did catch one smaller. They're long enough, he's not that big and fat. I got him on the Yamamoto on the sink one. Oh, he let me go. Might have been a perch. No, it's perch. Let it happen. Yeah. Hungry perch. This one here is not a perch. Oh, yeah. That one there had a little more pull to him than a perch, but it was a perch. Look at the size of that pickerel. The <laughs> <laughs> pickerel. You're a lot more excited before you saw it was a pickerel. Yeah, geez, he's a big pickerel. He's big, yeah. We got guys that watch the show that's all they want to do is fish pickerel. That's a good sized pickerel. Yeah. Yeah, I got him. He definitely he hooked up good. I've got a small bass, as in small mouth and small. This, without a doubt, would be the smallest one of the day. He just wanted to come over and have a look at the boat. There's smaller fish over, in this, over here, for some reason. He's been in and shining her up. We had a good day and caught lots of fish. We did that. Thank you for taking me out. Oh. Hey, it's nice just to get out. No yeah. tournament pressure and just go yeah. have fun. And that's what we did today. We had fun. We got some fish. We didn't see many small fish today, but. No, we didn't, no. no we, had, we had some good fish today. We had today. some good fish today. Yeah, on some of the bigger fish that we saw, we let uh, Sean have a little bit of the break during the day there. And he got the two tanks during the day. Yeah. And they didn't make the camera, but uh, there's some good fish there to be had. Anyway, it's great just to get out fun fishing. He's going to have to get a remote control one camera. For there he for. is. Yeah, we have to get him a GoPro. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, thanks so much again. No that problem. was that was a blast. No Thank problem. You. Thank you. Thank you.